Hi, I'm Glory Nguyen and today I'm joined by Dr. Daniel Yeo, a cardiologist in Gleneagles Hospital. And Dr. Yeo will be sharing with us how to know if we're experiencing a cardiac arrest and the warning signs we cannot ignore, especially the differences in symptoms of cardiac arrest between men and women. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Yeo. And what causes cardiac arrest? So I have a model of the heart here, and it'll help me to explain what I mean. The heart muscle is supplied by three main arteries, one on the right side and two on the left. If any of these blood vessels are blocked, this causes a heart attack. Are there any warning signs or symptoms that you know, patients should look out for? Well, the most common sign is chest discomfort or chest pain. Other signs or symptoms that may occur include breathlessness, difficulty breathing, profuse sweating, sensation of the heart racing or beating irregularly, and feeling of tiredness or weakness. Who is most at risk when it comes to sudden cardiac arrest? Most of the time, cardiac arrest occurs in people with pre-existing heart disease, and these risk factors include high blood pressure, high cholesterol and diabetes. Is one gender more at risk? Studies show that only about 25% of women actually have the classical heart attack symptoms. That's why there's a higher chance of a woman who's having a heart attack not recognising that and not seeking medical attention. What can viewers do if they're concerned about their own health? Well, you should see your doctor. They should also consider a change in their lifestyle to adopt a healthy and balanced diet and also a regular exercise. Um, can you tell me more about this machine here? ECMO is a portable device that can be used in a person with sudden cardiac arrest so as to increase their chances of survival. ECMO provides 100% of the body's blood supply requirements. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us on this difficult subject today, Dr. Yeo. I hope our viewers will feel a lot better prepared to manage the risks and feel more confident about their well-being as a result.